Hey everybody, hey everybody, welcome to the Keto Mom page. My name is Stephanie, this is my incredible husband Steve, and we are diving into the Kazone book, finding your purpose, uh, figuring out your calling of what God has called you to do. So, if you're brand new, we want you to post new below, and if you've never watched our morning lives, welcome, good morning. Here we typically talk about mindset. So many people come here because they're looking like, how do I drop the fat? How do I pivot and make better food choices? I want that secret recipe. That's typically what we hear about. Where it's like, what's this mom fuel that right. you're always talking about? But we like to start the morning because if you can get your mind right, the rest of the day just seems to flow so right. much better. Right. So as you're tuning in, what is one thing you're thankful for? We'd love for you to share below. I am thankful for you. Oh, you're probably just thankful that I'm dropping you off at the airport. I am leaving <laughs> for a couple days. Steve is playing mom for a few days. It's interesting. So the one thing I'm thankful for is I'm thankful for today. I was looking at our CEO's stories on Instagram this morning. Yeah. And he was sharing a story. His dad passed away two years ago, yesterday. And it just made me realize the power of living like the power of your life leaving a legacy and it's pretty neat to kind of hear him he's emotionally walking through this just the graveyard he was he, walking he through really his dad was. loves his dad yes. he really loves his dad his dad was his everything to him and his it's, coach his mentor and it's pretty crazy to think he's like i feel more connected to him today than even when he was alive right. and it makes me realize like as we're going through this book it gave me i just said i said thank you for that perspective because it gave me an understanding that the choices that you make today they do have consequences for the life that you will live tomorrow or rewards yeah and when i say consequences i don't that does that sound always i negative? feel like sometimes um i don't know let's say okay if you, I don't say, mean if it you to hear be the negative. word consequences do you feel like that's Positive or actions. negative. But There's I would actions. say choices have, sure, consequences or rewards. I don't know. That's how I love it. Consequences or rewards. The, 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 the whole summary of it all, though, is that the reason why I love this book so much is because if you can be on purpose, and we're going to talk about, like, how do you discover and step into some of these things that you're created to do? Like, right. what does that look like? Um, it's so important. It's everything because even when that day comes and – maybe you're no longer here yeah the life that you live will impact the people that you love good or bad the environment that you created the community that you were a part of the family of choice and also the family of origin all right. of that stuff matters he actually wrapped that last chapter up that we talked about yesterday and the day before we've only gone through two days of this and he said you know, he's a pastor, so uh, his name is Craig Rochelle, and he said he's a, he experiences and he's around death all the time. And he says, you can tell the families that were blessed by their loved one because he'll say things like, tell me about them, and they can't stop talking about them. Or the opposite happens, where he'll say, tell me about them, and nothing is said. So we wrapped yesterday's live up with the questions, and we said, if you want to play full out, if you want to go after your kazone, which, if you don't even know what that means, it's really just... It's a Hebrew word that defines like your dream, your calling for your life. What is your kazon? And so we gave you some questions yesterday to answer. It was, uh, if you wrote these down and we reverse engineered your life and you were going to be right before you pass away, you ask these questions. Well, you'd ask them now, but you're thinking about then. The thing that was so most important to me was... Now. Yes. But it's in reference to when it could be your last day. It could day. be your last day. So if you were to answer the question, the thing that was most important to me was, people say I stood for, I made a difference in my world by, God was glorified because I, people knew I loved them because, or the reason I expect God to say well done is. Hmm. That's how we ended yesterday. And so it w it's actually a... It was perfect to listen to our CEO Brian's uh, stories yesterday and then thinking he had such incredible things to say about his dad. So he lived a great life and, and left a legacy for his son and his daughter. Is that going to be the same for you? And so if you can answer those questions and then all of a sudden you go, am I actually doing, like if, am I doing those things today? If not, you've got to make a pivot. So good. So all right. So we're diving into circling the truth. Where do we look for our kazone? 
How do we find it? If you're going, okay, I get it. We all have a purpose. We all have a calling. How do I figure it out? What do I do? So he basically gives stories. And so um, I'm not going to read all of it to you, but he says there's three people in the Bible. He gives example. He says, God talks to people in different ways. He can give visions. Uh, He'll say some people are just waiting for an audible voice. You're like, I've been waiting and waiting and I just don't hear it. Or you can be burdened by something so it's just in your heart that you can't stop thinking about it. So he gave three examples. If you know the Bible, if you don't know the Bible, here's what he said. God gave Joseph his gazon by means of a dream. So Joseph in the Bible was given a dream. He knew what he was called to do. Uh, Moses, on the other hand, received an audible voice of God. God spoke to him. He knew what to do and he had to fulfill his calling. Lastly, the, the story in the Bible to Nehemiah. If you don't know them, it's okay. But Nehemiah received a kazone from God. How was it? At the end of Israel's 70 years of exile, he got permission to go back and return to Jerusalem. He received his vision when he looked at the destroyed walls and he wondered, why wasn't anybody doing anything about it? Why weren't they rebuilding the walls? Huh, talk about instant gratification. I mean, 70 years. 70 years. His vision came from a burden, something that bothered him, something that wasn't the way it should be or supposed to be. And Nehemiah devoted his life to solving the problem. He didn't hear an audible voice. He didn't have a dream, which can be. But is there something that you're looking at in the world, around you, in your environment that burdens you so much that you're like, I need to do something about that? I have to apologize because that was sarcastic. I'm working on not being sarcastic anymore. So wholeheartedly, oh, though, think about that. 70 years, and we live in an instant gratification society. So they were kicked out of their country for 70 years. When they got permission to turn, to go back, they had to rebuild. 70 years of exile or $70 for gas. <clears throat> Which one would you choose? You want to know what's super interesting? Is <laughs> if you actually do read the Bible, or if you've never read the Bible before, uh, I would say this. If you... If you don't read it with detail, the Bible can seem like Instagram. And I'm going to tell you why in just a second. It just, it was just a thought. You look at Instagram and you think the people that you're following have everything that they have today overnight, or you only see the good. When you read the Bible, and if you don't read it slow and actually focus on what it's saying, you can read stories like Abraham and you might think, oh, Abraham was called by God to go lead people. He was told he was going to be the father of many nations, but it wasn't overnight. He had to leave everything that he knew, go find new land. Like it was years and years of, he had one word from God and then he had to go do it. And it was like, uh, would make a couple steps and then something would happen. And he would see some, uh, excitement to like, Oh, this could be great. And then something would happen. And it happens all throughout the Bible. Oh, something happened. Poor connection. So I want you to understand something. When you get called by God, we're going to talk about this in a second, but, oh. I'm just curious though. So to me, it sounds like God speaks yeah, I'm talking in different a lot. ways Sorry. to different people. Yes. So how did the Keto Mom community get started? You guys, that's super fun. Actually, uh, I'll tell you in the really quick version, I actually had a dream. So My husband was doing keto for probably two years without me, the actual diet, without drinking ketones. He found ketones online, drinkable ketones. He said, Stephanie, if this works, it's going to change thousands of people's lives. Mm -hmm. I drank the product. I loved it. Uh, Went to bed, woke up, and I said, hey, I had a dream, and I'm supposed to start a page on Facebook called Keto Mom. I don't know how to do it. I don't know what that means. And Steve was like, what are you going to (laughs) post? I was like, I don't know. I'm supposed to tell our story. If we're going to be on this journey together, because I really wanted to be a supportive wife, then I, I, I don't know. I'll just share what we're doing because if our family's going to learn, we clearly can help other families. So that one thing came in a dream. I haven't had any other profound dreams like that since it was just that one. Now I have dreams all the time and I'm always like, come on, God, give me a dream. Cause I love to dream. But I do have a vision that there's going to be a million people who are following on the Keto Mom page. Yeah. And it's because of amazing people like you by tagging your friends and sharing the messages <clears throat> and honestly pouring into this community. People are, it's so cool. Like we get messages every day of people who feel befriended, who feel encouraged, 
who feel inspired to go take some massive action yeah. in their life. And it's because of people like you sharing this page, taking your friends, and honestly just commenting. It's, it's really, really cool seeing the community that's being built seven years ago. Right. And when we hit that million on Facebook, we are going to celebrate with some really cool stuff. I think we're like 30,000 away. 29. It's exciting. All right, so... Here's a question for you. Is something missing in your life? Are you aware that God has more for you? Seek him just like Joseph, Moses, and Nehemiah. He also told a story about a doctor who wasn't fulfilled being a doctor, but he went to Africa and found his fulfillment helping an orphanage there. He will give you a kazone and not just any, but the one that is tailored specifically for you. I like that. I really like this. Read it. Then you will know how you can impact the world. Honestly, that's what it's all about. Right. Influencing kingdoms and nations. How can you shift the trajectory of your environment? How can you change the course of legacies to come? Like your generations depend on your stewardship of your life. And you know what? If you're here and you're like, listen, I just want to feel better. That's probably oh your first step. That's so like good. if you are burdened by the way that you feel or your goal is like, I want to get healthy and strong for my family. That's your first step in taking care of you so that you can go and impact others. So that should push you enough to go, I've got a calling on my life. I've got something to live for. I have a kazone and it starts with taking care of my temple. Start there. And as you're learning and growing and plugging in and we're going to talk about values and core values and uh, gifts and talents, you're going to start dreaming all the while every day you're doing the best you can with working on you. I love that. I mean, the simplicity of knowing that your life matters, stewardship of your body right. matters. And if, if it's not functioning at 100%, if you're not feeling good, if you're not feeling inspired, I mean, the great thing is, is there's so many tips that you've given over the last almost seven years now of just helping people feel better. So I would encourage you, plug in, take some steps. And make yourself feel better. When you feel better, then the people around you will they'll level up. That's just what happens. They will level up. All right. A couple more thoughts. Once you dive into this, you're going to start going to the University of Kazone. He gives uh -oh. some stories about Joseph in the Bible. If you know the story, uh, he was given a dream. He told his brothers. His brothers didn't like his dream. So they actually got super jealous. They did not have mudita for oh, him. What is that? You tell them what Mudita oh, is. Oh, I like that word. He loves this word. So we learned this from, at our last event, we had Jay Shetty come and speak, and he shared, and he is, he, man, he is one wise man. Yeah. But at the very end, he was teaching us about Mudita, and there's not an English word for it, and basically it's a summary of being thankful, to be being happy, to being able to truly celebrate other people's success, and Without having Mudita. any selfishness or any... Like feeling sad for yourself. You're truly happy for other people. It's like a genuine happiness yeah. for other people winning. So I would just, that, I mean, just, you can run some scenarios today that will be presented to you. It happens every day where you can, someone, someone had, maybe somebody got a raise or somebody got a promotion or somebody got a new car. Somebody, somebody lost somebody, five pounds. Like there's somebody who's celebrating something. Right. And. I think internally, at least here in America, and I, it depends where you're watching it. I feel like a lot of Americans were kind of like quick fix needed and it's about us. And it's unfortunate because then we're like, oh, how did they get it? Or they must have just got lucky. That's right. usually what it is. But the reality is there's usually a lot of hard work over a period of time. And so we would just challenge you today to look for opportunities to have Buddha talk, to be able to celebrate other people's successes. And I learned about this from Bill Johnson. He's our pastor years ago. Yep. And he didn't use the word mudita, but he taught the same principle that we're teaching here. Like learning to celebrate other people's success is when you actually receive your breakthrough. Yes, 100%. So I, I would love encourage that. you to look for those opportunities to celebrate other people. And in doing so, you become a huge encouragement to those people. Right. Yes, 100%. I love that. So, um, he basically he says this, a God, God gives you a vision. When God gives you a vision, he will do two things in your life. Number one is he's going to, hold on. I don't want to read all of that. 
There's a lot. He will What's start to, work, I know, I highlighted a lot. He will start to work in you. So he gave the example of Joseph and he, and what you need to understand is you're going to get this vision and you're going to get super excited and then something might happen. You might experience a setback. Ah, to be expected. Right? So basically he talks about University of Cazone. Uh, pastor Craig Groeschel shared his story of just wanting to go be a pastor, but he actually needed to go to school to, ha to learn some hu humility. So he shares a little bit of his story of like, as you're learning and as you're growing, you're going to have setbacks. You're going to have things that you're going to have to work through walls. You're going to have to break through. You're going to, and are you willing to do it? It's not like, Oh, this is what I'm created for. It's just going to be handed to me. You're going to have to work really hard and even extra hard to accomplish it because it's just a part of life. You're going to have to do the work. So good. So God will work in you. He shares a ton of stories. God will work through you. You're going to experience setbacks uh, to be expected. When God gives you a vision, he will start to work in you and you'll keep, he'll keep working in you and you will learn lessons all along the way. Think about that. That's it. So what are you learning? Mm, that I was going to talk about. What are you grateful for? Uh, we're going to be jumping into core values, spiritual gifts, yes. and how to really use your past experiences. Here's what experiences. we are going to dive into. Not today, but not today, but days to come. Um, but all this stuff matters. And I would just say today, let today be an amazing day. Uh, choose joy. Choose mudita. Find some people to celebrate and encourage. Yeah. And I would just be open to just saying, all right, Lord. All right, God. What do you have in store for me? Maybe what you'll get a do dream. you have in store for me? Maybe you'll hear the audible voice. That would be incredible. Maybe you'll have a vision. Or maybe you will actually realize something that burdens you or that you're so passionate about that you're going to start activating on an idea or something. It's, and this is, this is just what we've started to do. I've been doing this for a while. I love to just sit. Some people call it meditating. What would you call it? Yeah, meditating. Thinking, sleeping. No, she is meditating. Thinking. She's thinking. We're working on doing this <laughs> together. I've been doing this for years, but... I love quiet time. First thing in the morning before I, I don't check my phone. I don't do anything. I just, I drink some water. I'm, I get in a grateful spot and I'm just open to hearing, seeing and coming up with a game plan. And it's so crazy. Like you will, if you can give yourself some space to think, it is so cool. The kind of ideas, concepts, and things that can come to you if you're open to it and if you make the space for it in your time. Hey, I actually hear a lot in the shower. That's my thinking stuff. And everybody has a thinking. It course. really is. Like if I go <laughs> it, and somebody doesn't bother me in the shower. like Oh, I didn't see. Someone sent us some stars. I. Thank you for the stars. All of the stars yes. go to Honduras. <clears throat> There's an orphanage in Honduras that our family is hopeful to go visit uh, sometime, sometime very, this very year. soon. So thank you for sending the stars. That's where they go. Otherwise... Continue to tune in. This is a book that we're going through. If you just want some keto tips and tricks, go to ketomomsecrets.com. So we've hey, got a I blog. can I ask them a question real quick? Yes. Oh, thank you, Melissa, for the 200 stars. That's amazing. Yeah. I have a question for you. So, Stephanie, I'm really, I'm actually, there's this, you know what? I'm going to give a shout out to a guy named Matthew Mole. If you haven't listened to some of his songs, go listen to some of his songs. What's your favorite song? Uh, there's a, the, what's the that right song side, called? The Right Side. Take yours and I'll take mine. You know what? If you just want a happy tune, we should play it. We should pump that. It gets me fired up. It might turn uh, us off social media. That's true. Copyright infringement. Go check out Matthew Mall. That's not what I was going to ask. So, so Stephanie's getting ready to leave. I listen to some of these songs and I'm just so grateful for my wife. I really am because she is such a hard worker. She's so caring. She loves our girls. She loves all of you on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. Like She loves you all. She cares about... She cares about seeing you do well. She's getting ready to go teach at an event. It's going to be unbelievable. If you want to check it out, it's called Level Up. Send us a message. We can figure out how to get you plugged into it. This, isn't, this is why I love her because she's going to do something that is kind of, I mean, it's not easy for her to leave her family to go do something, but there's going to be a ton of value that's going to be added at this event that she gets to pour into. At the same time, I say that because selfishly, I don't want her to leave me. But I also have access to her Facebook and Instagram account. So here's my question. If my daughters and I, if we went live 
in our kitchen and had some fun, would you join us? That's what I'm curious. <laughs> like if we hijacked Maybe you should, Keto Mom page. You guys can make those fun little snickers. Because she's things. teaching. Could we They'll make totally watch some you. fun fat bombs? What do you girls want to make? All keto fied snicker bars. We're going to make some really fun stuff. Those are pretty. And it might be a little hilarious. It's definitely not going to be as professional as when Stephanie does it. It'll be way more funny. It'll be great. So it'll be Continue fun. Continue to tune in. All right. It'll I like all the hearts. All right. We're going to do it. We're going to go for it. So just be on the lookout for our four daughters and myself hijacking Keto Mom's page. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> It's another hey, vision. We are going to see if we can try somehow to do this together through an app. If it doesn't work, then we'll for sure be back on Saturday afternoon to go through this. Or so, I can do it by myself. But I, I feel like Steve adds such an extra special touch that I geez. shouldn't do it without him. I, I appreciate that. Maybe I'll just do some lives of... Stop you know it. What? Stop it. <clears throat> Stop it. What I think I should do is reteach EQ and AQ and a couple things that we've learned. And then we can go through the book when I'm with you. Better together. What do you think? All right. This was fun. We'll see. All Appreciate right. each and every one of you. Bye, guys. We'll Have talk to you day. soon.